Hello and welcome to another Jira administration tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about time tracking and issue linking functionality in Jira. So as an administrator, you might be getting a lot of requirements around customizing some of the issue linking um, look and feel and how, what all um, fields need to be available there and also in terms of time tracking you can enable or disable time tracking in jira as well mostly having a time tracking um, in jira and it, it having it enabled is really helpful when you are looking to pull out the team stats on uh, what everyone is, has been doing uh, how much time has been spent in particular issue how the estimation happened and whether uh, the time spent on the issue the actual time spent aligns with the estimations and if there is something um, you know there is misalignment between the actual and the um, estimates then what is the root cause so it, time tracking gives you a lot of um, options and uh, flexibility to basically analyze what is going on in the team with the particular issues and uh, the amount of time spent on the particular issues. So let's get back to the time tracking and issue linking thing and uh, To do that as an administrator you just go to the cog wheel click on the issues and Below if you scroll down a little bit below priorities You will see the time tracking and issue linking uh, under the issue features section so if you click on time tracking you can turn it on and off and there are certain other aspects that you can um, change as per the um, administrator now you can change the time format based on um, you know whichever structure you want and the default unit what you want whether you want the legacy mode uh, etc and you can edit the hours per day or days days per week as well now at the moment time tracking is off so when the time tracking is off, what happens is you cannot um, log the work or log the time that the person has spent in, on the particular issue. Uh, so I'll activate that and it will ask you to perform the re-index. I'll just cancel it out at the moment. And if I go to a particular issue, I open it in the new tab. And now I should be able to log the time. So if you click on more, you will see the log work option available here. If you click on that, you can log the time spent on this particular issue here. So the format is basically, you know, uh, hours. So if you want to put one hour, you just say one edge or you want to put one day, you just say uh, one day, etc. And then uh, weeks is basically one W. So that's the format which it uses um, or, uh, which is the default format and you can provide the time span uh, time spent and then description and log the work for that particular issue if the time tracking is disabled or deactivated then you won't be able to see the log work option or the time tracking option there right so time tracking option that was here disappeared and in the more you don't see log work option so I'll go back and again activate it and refresh the page and now you can see the time tracking section appear here uh, estimated is not specified we haven't estimated this issue remaining and then logged so this gives you a, uh, a lot of um, information about what estimation was what um, work has been happening and especially when you are pulling out your burn down charts on a daily basis you will be able to figure out how the work, work has been progressing throughout the day. Now, coming back to the issue linking, which is also very important. So if you click on issue linking, by default, Jira provides you some of the issue linking um, options here. So link type, basically, so it's linking is currently on you can deactivate the linking as well like um, in the uh, in a time tracking if you deactivate time tracking no one will be able to log the work or time in the issue similarly if you deactivate the issue linking people won't be able to link issues um, 
in Jira. So at the moment it's on and then there are certain link types that are available and a very common link type that you get um, a request for is the tests issue type. Basically when you have a story there will be testers in team that will be testing the issue and they will be writing test cases for that particular story. Now they want to link those test cases to the story and they want the link to appear as is tested by or tests something like that so what you need to do is you just provide the name as tests and outward description as tests and inward is is tested by and add that right so similarly like relates relates to relates to and then um, you know you have duplicate you have cloners you have blocks etc so similarly one we have added for the tests now how it helps is if you go back to this particular issue for example I'll just refresh this page right now here you can see the issue links are there right so this issue this particular issue or test story is being um, it relates to this particular defect right now as as a team or as you know like um, a tester I want to see what all test cases are testing this particular uh, story so what I'll do is I'll just select the issue link okay so this issue is tested by because this is a story and then I'll say um, some test case and link it right so now you can see this is a story it is tested by these many test cases so you a tester can link as many test cases as they like and then there uh, this uh, particular story relates to whatsoever issues you can choose so basically what it provides is uh, it's a clear you know structure and well organized structure that what are the test cases which are testing this particular story which are the other issues which relate to this particular story and then if there are any issues that are blocking this particular story then you can just say yeah this story is um, blocked by and then you can select some defect from the list right so I can say yes this story is blocked by so you can see you know like uh, all this information is very clear in this particular story uh, about the story whether it's blocked by how many test cases are being written for this particular story and then uh, which issues this story relates to so that is why having those link type inbound and outbound uh, description is very important and having this issue linking activity on and then um, time tracking activity on is very important in terms of your uh, organizing the issues within Jira as well as um, managing the time spent on the issues in Jira and then pulling out the reports so that's pretty much all about um, the time tracking and issue linking issue features in Jira Hope you liked the video, please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.